Gang, in addition to free path loss, which remember is simply the sine wave of the uh, that we have occurring with a particular signal, uh, essentially losing amplitude over time, not changing the wavelength, not changing the frequency, but simply losing strength over time. Uh, that's free path loss. But what happens when we put something in the middle, like a wall, like glass, like brick, like cinder block, like trees, like human bodies? All of those things can cause what is known as absorption of that signal, meaning the something in your way, it's, it's going to block that signal. Now, again, that can be a good thing because it can keep signals isolated. I mean, that's why we have rooms where we can close the door so that the noise stays on the inside and because those boundaries are going to absorb that content. I mean, sometimes that's true in wireless as well. It's great to be able to create boundaries and not have to worry about signal leakage into other environments. But in many cases, we're thinking, okay, I have an access point. Where will that access point reach? And I need to be aware of the absorption rates of various different materials. Um, essentially, again, that energy is dissipated as heat. We don't necessarily think of it. I'm not saying you could touch it and feel that it would be hot, but it essentially that electromagnetic energy is converted into heat. Therefore, the throughput energy has gone down. Uh, of course, when you get to 100% of the energy being taken, that means no signal makes it to the other side. It's reducing amplitude, and it is maintaining, though, the same wavelength and frequency. That does not change, but eventually it becomes unusable signal. If I was, uh, was really trying to understand this well and be able to even certify in, a, in a, something related to wireless, I would certainly want to have a, a good idea about kind of what are some of the different rates of absorption of some different materials. Now, this is specifically the 2.4 gigahertz uh, range. What is the uh, kind of, these are ballparks, all right? But essentially, we can see, all right, uh, you're going to lose about three decibels of energy by going through an office window or a plasterboard wall. We can see you're going to lose four going through cinder block. We see those in office buildings all the time, right? If you have a glass wall with a metal frame often around those conference rooms, notice that actually bumps it all the way up to six decibels of loss. We're losing that much uh, power because of going through that material. Same thing as going through a metal door, which again, we would probably think more about the metal door than we would that glass wall with the metal frame. Of course, a metal door and a brick wall, that's some pretty solid stuff, and that'll knock out about 12 decibels of strength. Very little signal is going to get conveyed to the other side. So this is absorption, something to be aware of anytime you're dealing with wireless uh, communication, because we don't have uh, just open air all the time between point A and point B. That doesn't mean that the signal won't get through, but it does mean it won't get there full strength.